Everyone has to speak one minute. Nine, uh, one o'clock and one minute, two one o'clock and two minute. So everyone has to have the same clock because the next person will start at one o'clock and two minute, two one o'clock and three minute, right? So if your clock are not the same, if your clock is too fast compared to your friend, you will have a problem. Maybe you start talking before she ends, okay? The other person ends, okay? So, so the TDMA is more complex because it has to involve with the time, timing, okay? And the synchronization, okay? Um, and also got banned to prevent the interference, okay? Now let's look at the, we'll just go over it a little bit, okay? TDMA, TDMA is more of a digital signal. FDMA is more of an analog signal, okay? So TDMA is, uh, kind of digital signal. Uh, we use this one, we use one uplink frequency band and one downlink frequency band. However, we will sh divide uh, the frequency into time slots, okay? So we, sorry, we will divide uh, um, the time into time slot. So in this case, we will have, okay, time slot for user one, two, three, and then repeat again, one, two, three, one, two, three, like this, if you have three users. If you have five users, you may, you know, repeat other five, okay? And in between, we have got time, because in practice, you cannot be sure, you know, perfect synchronization is very difficult, okay? So, so you have a got time a little bit, like this one end at uh, one o'clock and one minute, but the other, you may have a, a guard time of maybe five seconds or 10 seconds, okay? Before the other starts, so that if your clock is not exactly the same, they will not interfere, right? So do you have a guard time here? But we are sending is actually in a very shorter term, right? The shorter time, the one minute M that I use as an example is like when you are talking, right? Okay, but when we send here, it will be maybe millisecond, okay? So this is the one for uplink and one for downlink, okay? Uplink is uh, the subscriber sending to the base station. Downlink is base station sends to the subscriber. Okay, again, I already corrected it in the max load, okay? Characteristic of the TDMA, okay, TDMA. Each channel is used by only one single station, so the same thing. If you have no, if, uh, user number two is not, not sending, then you have a problem. You, you, I mean, you waste the capacity, right? It's not efficient because this will be idle, okay? Now, for each of the station, the data are transmitted in bursts and not continuously because when you send, you, you have to send, for example, user one have to send at this time, right? And then you have to wait for if everyone else to, to send before you can send again. So you send like a short burst, and you wait for a long time, and you send again a short burst. It's like if you take turns speak for one minute. You, you speak for one minute, you have to wait for 20 minutes. And then you speak again one minute, right? This is called like sending in burst. Okay, and you have to get the get tab. Any questions on this? This is the end of chapter seven. Just a minute. Um, the next topic that we will talk about is wireless area network, okay? The wireless, wireless area network, uh, okay, we, now we get into the network, right? Um, it's like when you want to send from, for example, you want to have a telephone call, right? Um, to anywhere in the world, okay? So you must have, you must have um, kind of a number and then you must have a switching node, okay? And you have, um, I think I, I, taught, I, I told you before that if you have a direct line, it's not possible because you have too many people, okay? Even in Bangkok, there's too many lines if you want one-to-one um, -one line, okay? So what you can do is that you share a network, okay? And um, you look at how we're sharing the network uh, today. For the landline, we have the um, 